G'day, my name is Robert French and I'm on my way to the Bunya Mountains to film my first Mojo story. This story is being filmed on our People's Dance of Wabri, which was carried out every two years when the Bunyana fell and our neighbouring tribes came and gathered together. The, the history of the Bunya Mountains is, is, a, is a place where Aboriginal groups or Abor representation of Aboriginal tribes came to um, celebrate life that was given to them. The Quabri of our people told stories and still, te still tell stories today of, um, of what went on here in the Bunya Mountains. An important part of the Quabri is where the dancers use traditional materials to paint up. This is the auka, and this is the auka that I'm mashing up, what we put on ourselves. What I'm doing, I'm going to do a bunyanat of the bunyanats here. Yep. This is our totem. The totems and dance were some of the first ways that we learnt about our culture. With all indigenous people going way back, whether they be you know, European indigenous or Mediterranean indigenous, whatever, they are all at one time hunters gatherers, or in, in those terms similar, you know. Now, the learning skills for the young kids, they used to do some of the, um, the gathering, with aunties or uncles or whatever, and they were taught about what they were doing verbally, and that's how they learnt, by using their skills and listening to what was being told in modern times with technology and that, like, like the cameras, mate. That's a learning tool for them, because they're looking at that screen, they're interacting with it, but they're also using their hands for that interaction between what they're doing with their hands and what's happening up here in their head. And affecting the way people think about our culture and the bush is also what this day is about. Bringing back the, the cultural landscape that was here before. This place here culturally uh, is, like a, is like my church. I, I come, come to this mountain every day and I just takes my breath away every time I come up here. But coming here to participate in the cultural events does a lot more than that. We've had, we've had a couple here within these guys and they be petrol sniffers and whatever. And they've completely forgotten all about it because they're too busy and they're, they're quite proud of uh, promoting and uh, promoting their culture as in dancers. <laughs> So there you have it, the story on the Bunya Mountains and why it is so significant to our people. So come on up and enjoy the bush. See you next time.